Hey, this is Mitch. Just going to shoot you a quick video going over three tips to get some more clients online. So I will take a look at your website and we'll take a look at three of your competitors in Austin, uh, see what they're doing, how they're getting all their clients and how you can uh, outrank them to get some more clients too. So the three things we're going to talk about are content backlinks and citations. So for content, Google likes to see about 1500 words of content on a home page. Um, so definitely want to add some content in here with the right keywords. Uh, Google can also read what you save your images as. So you don't want it to save it as letters and numbers. You want to save it as keyword intent phrases. And we'll go over those in a couple minutes. So uh, you can see here, this is one of your competitors in Austin. They have a good amount of content on here. Really want to see exactly how much they have. Um, let's say they have 1,500 words, then you want 1,750. Uh, you just want to make sure you have more than your competition. They've got a little bit of content here too, but again, nothing too crazy. Um, I'd say 1,500 words should have all of them beat. So the next thing we'll talk about are backlinks. And all a backlink is is a link from one website to another website. When you link the websites, they're going to pass power, so not all backlinks are created equal. You want to go after those high power backlinks. On Arifs, one of the paid tools I use, they rank a website's power with UR and DR. You want these two numbers as close together as possible and as high as possible. And that's going to lead to a more powerful website. All right, now you don't have any backlinks coming in. So take a look at your competition. Uh, you can see they have a pretty powerful website right here. Uh, they have 1,400 backlinks. The good thing is, is we can actually go in and see the different websites that they're getting all of these links from and go after those same links because if it put them on the first page of Google, it'll put you on the first page of Google too. You just want to go after those same links and then get more. Um, like see this UR number a little bit higher. They have 10 backlinks coming in. Um, but this is also a back page for their main website. So that's why this number is going to be a little bit higher. And then we paint Austin.com 21,000 backlinks coming from 64 websites. Um, they definitely have a link or two links, a couple websites that are kind of spammy. So don't want to go after those backlinks, but still pick out the good ones they have because they have pretty good power coming in. So to give you an idea of what all that backlinking will do, we'll take a look at a few keywords real quick. Since you don't rank for any, we'll just uh, start with your competition at the thetextpainting.com. This column is going to be the search term on Google. This column is going to be the average monthly search volume. And this column is the KD or the keyword difficulty. It just tells us how hard and how long it's going to take to rank for these keywords. Uh, it's ranked on a scale of 0 to 100, with 0 being the easiest and 100 being the hardest. So you want to go after those high volume, low KD keywords. You can see here, Painters Austin is searched on average 500 times a month. Uh, this website's in the third position, and they're getting an average of 57 clicks a month on their website for people looking for a painter in Austin. Uh, house Painting Austin, 350 searches a month. Austin House Painting, another 350 searches a month. And they're getting an, another 100 clicks a month on those two keywords. Painters Austin TX. Uh, if you do popcorn ceiling removal, that's 200 searches a month with a zero KD. So that's the kind of low hanging fruit that you really want to go after. Um, <clears throat> drywall repair. Interior painters. So you can see that there is quite a few keywords and it takes a little bit of time to go through all your different competition and um, pick out the keywords that you want to rank for. And when you find the keywords that you want to rank for, you're going to put those keywords into the content on your home page and your service pages and then push those powerful backlinks to those pages and be able to start ranking for those keywords. So the last thing we'll talk about is citations. If I were to search Painters Austin TX, you're going to get this little map pack to pop up right here. In order to rank in this map pack, you first want to make sure that your Google My Business is completely optimized. So as many reviews as possible, uh, more pictures than everyone else saved in the right format. Google likes them saved as keyword intent phrases and also geotagged around the different areas that you service. They're going to give you 750 characters for a description right here. Just by looking, they're probably using half. You want to use all 750 characters or as close to all of them, excuse me, as close to all of them as possible. 
Then you can go after um, citations, and all a citation is is name, address, phone number, listed on as many online directories as possible. It's going to be like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and there's hundreds that you've probably never heard of. And a lot of times they're also going to give you a spot for a backlink as well. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone and go after the citations to rank in the map pack at the same time as you're going after the backlinks to rank in the organic search engines. Uh, if you have questions about any of this or you need help implementing this and, and help building your website um, so that way it can outrank all of your competition, um, you know, feel free to let me know and I'd be more than happy to jump on a phone call with you and take a little bit of a deeper dive into this and find the best way to get you the most clients possible.